Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are going to take a look at very small topic but important one. So it's a function which actually can be used within Power Apps to print the screen. So probably uh, many of you might already aware about this print function, but uh, if you are not, then you can have a look on this video that how to enable the printing on Power Apps and what are the limitations. So to explain it, I have opened my bake.powerapps.com and from here I'll be just choosing one template so that I can show you like how to have that print button in place in Power Apps. So I'll just go to the templates and I'll pick one of the template. Let's say like I'm just picking a set checkout. So it's disabled. So it's it wanted to create an environment. So I'll just skip it and then to a different one. Let's say onboarding task. Yes, so I'll just create this app. And later on, we'll just insert one button and have that print function enabled or attached to it. So I'll also explain like how you can directly work with the print screens layout. Not, I mean, need not to worry about like inserting a button later on. So I'll just sign in with my account and create. All right, so there's a template which I have used. So let's say like if we wish to print, give a print button on any of the screen, then simply you can just find your screen. For example, bid imply screen and you wish to have this printed, then you can just go to your insert ribbon and put a button over there. And on this button, you can just move there on the right hand side, just say like print as label and you can also like have a print icon like uh, set it up for this button but uh, simply i would like to explain that how you can use the print so print is an inbuilt function over here you can just simply say print on button select is print and if i just simply click on this print it will include this layout of print button in while printing so if you wish to like skip this one then you have to go to the visible property and enter this visible property you can just simply say not and parent.printing so while printing it will skip this button so if I can show you that by just running so I'm just playing this app and clicking on this print so you can see like in print preview, I don't have that print button. It's simply printing the screen and you can just select the other types of printing, the properties you can set up while printing. So this is how this print function works. So if you wish to skip a few of the controls while printing, then you can simply do the same thing as in visible property not parent printing so that it, it can skip the printing piece of it so for example if i just wish to not to print this entire card i'll just go to the visible setting of this and just place this piece so i can skip this header by just putting this dot parent dot printing and if i just again play while printing you can see the header piece is skipped up so this is how you can just skipping the controls from printing layout and if you wish to start a new screen which should enable you to print and portrait and landscape print mode then you can just pick up of these uh, screen types you can simply click on print portrait mode and you will see like there is already one uh, label has been given so if you go to on select of this label you would see that print function has already been integrated and on visibility it must be hidden so that it can skip the printing piece of it then you can start like having your galleries and everything on the page based on your requirement so there are two ways like you can simply use these print screens and decide on the resolutions of the screen uh, what by what and either you can just simply drag and drop print button just like we did for overhead and then 
do a printing so right now the limitation of print is like the, the, it will not work for the mobile forms and as well as if you are going to customize the sharepoint forms using power apps then this print uh, would not work so though like in preview it will keep on working but when you actually do a publish to sharepoint form it will not work because it works as a model so that's why like this is the reason it doesn't work in that uh, sharepoint forms so probably in future we may see that but as of now no it's just limited to power apps just so single standalone apps so i think that's it for today's video so the intent was just to like make you familiar with the print function and i think like we did that so that's it for today thank you bye